professional swamp creature, former vice president, and now presidential candidate Joe Hans Biden is starting to feel the heat because a 50-year career in politics is going to have some skeletons. From his son potentially cashing in on his father's role to Joe Biden's troublesome past with a racist who once said, The separation of the races has been evolved over many years by both races. It's not something that one race has imposed upon another race. Exposing lies, revealing truth. Here's the deal with Deneen Borelli. Joe Biden has his hands full, and I don't mean from touching women. News organizations are demanding answers regarding Biden's international business dealings in the Ukraine and China. Was Hunter Biden profiting off his dad's work as vice president, and did Joe Biden allow it? We're talking about millions of dollars in at least two countries. President Obama gave Joe Biden the responsibility of dealing with Ukraine, and surprise, surprise, Joe Biden's son, Hunter, was appointed to a board of directors position with Burisma, a Ukrainian natural gas company accused of corruption. You heard that right. The Hill reported, Hunter Biden's American-based firm received regular transfers into one of its accounts, usually more than $166,000 a month from Burisma, when Vice President Biden was the main U.S. official dealing with Ukraine and its tense relations with Russia. $166,000 a month? Oh, and there's this little nugget. Hunter had no experience in this industry. Zero. Oh, but details, details. In 2016, a prosecutor was investigating another Ukrainian company, one that, wait for it, also employed his son. And Joe Biden straight up bullied Ukraine into firing this prosecutor. And full of zero shame, here's Biden bragging about his actions. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. And if that wasn't enough, there are questions about Hunter's business deals with the Chinese government. Hunter Biden traveled to China with his father in 2013, and his firm formed a $1.5 billion joint venture with the Chinese government. Hunter also serves on the board of the company. Shocking. This is the candidate many Democrats are supporting for president. What else has he done that we just don't know about? Well, in case you've been under a rock this week, international affairs isn't the only problem Biden is dealing with. At a swanky New York City fundraising campaign event, Biden fondly recalled working with, wait for it, two staunch segregationists. That's right. During his remarks, Biden reminisced about working with Senators Herman Talmadge of Georgia and James Eastland of Mississippi, both well-known racists. Referring to Eastland at the fundraiser, Biden said, he never called me boy, he always called me son. Turns out Eastland was a mentor to Biden. That's right, a Mississippian who once called blacks an inferior race and the young Senator Biden had much more than a cordial relationship. Now all heck broke loose over Biden's bro-fest with segregationists, especially from Democrat presidential candidates. Biden's rivals for the 2020 Democrat nomination for president pounced on this golden opportunity to bash the competition. From Senator Kamala Harris. To coddle the reputations of segregationists, of people who, if they had their way, I would literally not be standing here as a member of the United States Senate is, I think, um, it's just, it's misinformed and it's wrong. To Senator Cory Booker. At a time when we have, from the highest offices in the land, uh, divisiveness, uh, racial hatred, uh, and bigotry being spewed, um, he should have the sensitivity to know that 
this is a time I need to be an ally, I need to be a healer, I need to not engage in usage of words that will harm folks. Joe Biden's extremely long run in the Senate spans decades, and Hansy Joe has been on the wrong side of issues. Biden's questionable alliances with segregationists opened up public scrutiny of his record at that time. Here's the deal. The truth is, Biden actually worked with Democrat segregationists to block the busing of children that was intended to desegregate schools. In 1974, Joe Biden's constituents formed an organized and angry opposition, and so the senator put aside any of his moral values and joined them to become an anti-busing crusader. That's right, Biden worked with real white supremacists, and one was even his mentor. And hold up a second, how come this revelation never saw the light of day while Biden served as vice president under former President Obama? Funny, I don't see other Democrats calling Biden a white supremacist. Maxine Waters, where are you? Yeah, the silence is deafening. Biden's family also cashed in on his role in the Obama administration. If you think Hunter Biden got lucrative deals with Ukraine and China because he had special skills and knowledge, I've got a bridge to sell to you. Hunter got those deals because of daddy. Biden is a classic swamp creature, and that's bad news for his run for president. I'm Deneen Borelli with Blaze TV.